Hi everybody, it's Anime Reviewer Girl and I have a new video out for you guys and actually it's a game review that was suggested to me by um, one of my lovely friends on Kick, and it is actually the game Bleach um, Brave Souls. Um, you can actually download it in the App Store and I actually just started playing this game and actually it's kind of like an RPG but it's basically it's a fighting game to be honest. How I can best explain it is that there are different levels Right now I'm on level 16 and the game basically goes through the story of Bleach. Now how far the game goes I don't know. I don't know how uh, high the levels levels go just yet nor do I know how far into the storyline it goes. Um, right now I'm at the part with Chad is actually where I'm at in the storyline so far. Um, basically you start out with Ichigo and basically you're fighting you know Hollows along the way with the help of Rukia. And then you're able to get these things called little orbs that are you can use to summon other characters. So for me, my first time summoning a character is I got Jushiro Ukitake. And they have stars as far as with, I want to say it's how powerful they are. And sometimes they'll say like how rare they are as well. And as you gain more orbs, you can also use them to um, summon more different other different characters. So for me, I've summoned two more characters since then. I've summoned Orihime and I've also summoned Ikaku. It's actually a character I just got today. And I've been playing the game for probably almost a week now. I'm not as far in it as most people probably are into it, but it's still a really fun game. It's actually really easy. And for me, I'm not always someone for playing RPGs just because I start to get bored kind of easily. But this game's actually really quick and to the point. Um, to be honest, beating the bosses are not hard at all, nor is beating the hollows. Um, literally you press a button and Ichigo just starts slashing and you can also change characters as well. So you can make a team of three and within that team of three is, you know, the different characters that you choose. So I have two teams. I have one team that has Ichigo, Orihime, and Jushiro Ukitake. And I also have a second team that has Chad, Ikaku, and I also want to say Orihime is on that one as well. Um, the characters increase in power level and you also can use their special moves as well and the one thing I do like about this game is that if you use their special move it only takes five seconds to replenish it for you to be able to use it again so you don't have to wait like an insane amount of time before you can use it you it actually gives you stars once you beat a level depending on how well you beat it so you'll get one for beating the, uh, the boss one for how long it took you and one for another reason as well which I cannot remember you also gain orbs and you also gain other um, special um, items like gold medals when you log in for the day. So like for today, I got a cone, two cone medals um, for me logging in for today. Um, I haven't logged in for a couple days but due to work and stuff, but today I found some time to actually play it and it's actually a lot of fun. Um, I also now have Chad. I just remembered I obtained Chad by playing the game. Um... Now, I'll be honest, so far I've been playing the game, I haven't had to spend any money. Um, I've just basically best been playing it. And to be honest, I so far don't see a reason to spend money. So I do know that you can spend money to buy more orbs because I believe the more orbs that you have or the more special orbs you have, although I may be completely wrong about this, is how you're able to summon the more rare and the more powerful characters. So like for, for like for one thing, you get like a five star Renji or a five star Byakuya. And there's a few characters that I'm sure many of you guys would want to collect or to have on your team. I know for me, I want Renji, I want Grimjow, and I want Byakuya. Those are the characters that I want. Oh, and of course Rukia. Um, I really want. Um, but so far I haven't seen a reason for me to actually spend money on this game as far as me to collect extra orbs because it's actually pretty easy to obtain orbs if you beat the level you kind of get more orbs and when you log in you get more orbs as well um the only other one thing i will say is the game's actually really easy um so far i haven't faced a challenge with um facing anything in the game to be honest i haven't faced a really bad boss to where my character has died or has fainted um, I've had a few moments where it's gotten pretty close, but then I just use a special attack and then they're gone. Um, it's kind of cool to go through the, through the story again and you to be able to play as your favorite characters. Um, that's one of the things that I really, really like. But so far the game's actually a lot of fun. 
I'm going to keep playing it to see what other things are going on. I'm also playing another game as well. I'm playing the Neo Monsters game as well, which is um, also another game that I just started playing too. And I'll, it's similar to Pokemon, but I'll explain to that another one later on. Um, as far as I know, this game is available in both the iOS App Store for Apple and also in the Google Play Store as well. Uh, just because the person that recommended the game to me, I believe, does not have an Apple phone. I want to say they have an Android. And it actually, they also have the game. So I'm assuming that it's on both. Um, which means if you're an Android user, you can play this game as well as if you're an iPhone user. If you haven't played this game yet, definitely play it. And if you're someone that's a fan of Bleach and someone who likes to read the manga or has watched the anime, and as everyone knows, the anime is now over, um, the manga is still ongoing, this is a great way for you to be able to still enjoy Bleach, um, even though the anime is over. Um, but yeah, definitely check out this game. I'm sure that many people will love it and or enjoy it. It's called, once again, the game is called Bleach Brave Souls. Search for it in the App Store and I'm sure you'll like it. I give it two thumbs up. And this is from someone who doesn't really like super duper hard games and isn't a big fan of RPGs, but I really like it. I feel like it's kind of like, I don't want to say it's like Candy Crush, but with the levels it kind of is. So yeah, um, sorry, but one last thing. The only thing I don't like this about this game is that there's a lot of talking in this game, like reading and scripts, the, scripts and stuff. Um, but the great thing is you can actually skip it. So I've actually been skipping a lot of the talking just because I've seen the show, so I know what's going to happen. Uh, yeah. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great day or a great night whenever you're watching this. Once again, don't forget to hit that subscribe, subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm going to leave links to my social media accounts below. Uh, links to my Instagram, my Twitter, my anime blog, and also my Ask FM. I like when you guys ask me questions. Um, yeah, don't forget to recommend any other animes or mangas or, or games that you want me to watch or to review. I'm currently watching another anime now. Um, hopefully I'll have that finished too and hopefully I'll have a re review for you guys soon as well. I'm also going to complete a manga that I've been actually been reading for a while now. And I'll have a review out for you guys about that too. All right. Thank you guys so much. If you're new, this, new to this channel, thank you so much for checking out this video. And if you haven't subscribed already, once again, subscribe. Um, if, and if you are already subscribed, thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoy this video and enjoy the rest of them. All right. Bye. Bye, everybody.